Good day dear friends. Today I want to tell you about cryptocurrencies, which can really change your life. Investing in a really necessary tool not everyone knows how to do this. Exactly for this purpose there are useful news, which you have to look through from time to time, to understand what will be interesting as an investment in the future. But before we start I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel, because in the future news will be much more and more useful for you. Also it will be useful for my channel, what will be very pleasant to me, as from you of the same. These cryptocurrencies will be especially interesting in the future, there is a special interest from them, and now you find out what. Keep an eye on these coins, is the crypto market finally pulling out of its slump? Bullish investors say yes as Bitcoin inches closer to $24,000. But Bitcoin itself is unstable now. There is no certainty that it will grow. In my opinion, such fluctuations will occur for quite a long time until they actually start this bull market that everyone is waiting for. Where to invest your money so as not to lose it? While the market shows some signs of a bull run, it is important to remember that it's still volatile. A few tokens stand out as noteworthy in the latest week amid the strengthening market. This week, we examine Threshold Network, Phantom, Avalanche, Gala, and Polygon. In selecting these assets, we've considered factors including positive technical developments, significant news events, and noticeable changes in price. Here's a little bit of information about cryptocurrencies that you really need to look at. Always analyze, do those things so that you assess the situation properly. A common sense approach to things can get you rich. And this is not a joke because I personally went through it and I like to think and reflect about things which can bring me a fortune of gold threshold network was the week's biggest gainer with an 80% price surge that may have been the result of a Coinbase listing and several project updates. Another major gainer this week was Phantom, which jumped 27% after the integration of the Vault on Chain Fund and the launch of an NFT marketplace on its network. Avalanche's AVAX token rose 18% after the launch of several integrations on the network, and possibly as a result of the Amazon Web Services partnership wave it still may be writing. Gaming-focused project Gallup posted a 16% increase after potential partnerships with movie stars and a gaming studio acquisition. Polygon advanced more than 20% amid increased network activity, which is cementing its place as a scalability platform. The Threshold Network was the most notable gainer this week, with the token increasing by 80%. The increase came after Coinbase said it would list the T-token, and that trading started January 26. The project is also expected to launch the minting feature for TBTC soon. Threshold Network is a decentralized finance, or DeFi, service that offers such features as staking and liquidity provision. It allows users to deposit and redeem their Bitcoin and DeFi without a third party. T started last week at 0.023 cent and is now valued at around 0.044 cent. Well, let's look at the chart below. Here I see how for a long time the rate of this cryptocurrency was falling. Nothing new I can tell you, but here I see only one thing that in the future there will be growth and return to previous positions. You can make money on it. Maybe it is not a short-term period, but in any case, you will increase your investment unequivocally. Phantom's FDM coin is up 27% after it announced the launch of Ecosystem Vault on its network on January 19. The Vault is a fund that runs on a chain, receiving 10% of transaction fees to fund projects, ideas, and creations. The Phantom community oversees the use of the funds. Also last week, the Hector Network launched its non-playable token marketplace, NFT, on Phantom. This Phantom-focused project launched the Atlantica market on January 23, another major step forward for the network. FDM was trading at 38 cents at the beginning of last week, and now its price is hovering around 47 cents. Avalanche's AVAX increased by 18% after it experienced adoption on multiple fronts. Several new DeFi integrations for the token have taken place in the past week, including those by Transfer Service Safe Transfer and Delta Prime DeFi. The coin is now priced at around $20.50. However, it also could be that Avalanche is still writing an early January partnership start with Amazon Web Services. AS now fully supports Avalanche's infrastructure and decentralized applications, ERDAP, ecosystem. The Gala project's Gala token increased 16% after several major announcements in the last week. 
First, there are said to be collaborations with Hollywood actors Mark Wahlberg and Dwayne The Rock Johnson, although neither agreement has been confirmed. The gala team also said it acquired gaming studio Ember Entertainment, indicating that it has plans for the gaming market. Gala started last week at around 0.04 cent and is now valued at around 0.052 cent. Here I see the stability which is supported by the chart itself. It is definitely a cryptocurrency which deserves respect and is extremely useful as an investment. Polygon's Matic token rose in the last week by more than 20% to $1.11 thanks to a sizable increase in network activity. The activity growth is so significant that Polygon overtook Ethereum in terms of daily active users. Polygon now is only behind Binance's BNB chain in terms of daily active users. Polygon also has been gaining increased DeFi activity as the total value locked or the overall value of crypto assets deposited in the protocol hit $872 million. That's a healthy amount during a period when the crypto market is considered to be in a slump. Well, that's all. I want to thank you for watching the video in the future there will be a As has already been said about Bitcoin, the situation is repeated with its little brother Ethereum. Let's get to the bottom of it. Will Bitcoin and Ethereum crash? DCG sells Grayscale Trust shares. After a long back and forth, the Genesis and DCG drama appears to be coming to a relatively smooth end after Genesis reached an agreement with DCG and other creditors yesterday, but a price crash could be looming as DCG is forced to sell shares in its Grayscale Bitcoin and Ethereum trusts. As the Financial Times reports today, Digital Currency Group has already begun selling shares in several of its most valuable grayscale trusts at a steep discount. The sales are intended to raise capital to pay creditors from bankrupt Genesis trading. Bitcoin and Ethereum crash looming. The information is based on US securities records seen by the news outlet. According to them, Grayscale's Ethereum Trust is currently the focus of DCG, where the group sold about a quarter of its shares in several transactions since January 24 to generate about $22 million. The company is selling at about $8 per share, although each share is entitled to $16 in Ether. This is simply part of our ongoing portfolio restructuring, DCG said. GBTC, which holds 633,000 bitcoins, appears to be untouched so far. Whether DCG also plans to sell its shares in it to raise liquidity is unclear at this time. DCG purchased nearly $800 million worth of GBTC shares from March 2021 to June 2022 in an attempt to keep the discount from rising further due to a lack of demand. This gives the company an estimated 9.67% of the trust's outstanding shares. In the event that DCG needs to raise more cash, selling these shares may seem like an option. However, selling them could have a massive impact on the discount to NAV, which is already at 43.08%. In addition, it should be noted that by law DCG cannot sell more than 1% of its outstanding shares per quarter unless it receives separate approval from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. In the absence of such approval, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust sale would take approximately 2.5 years for DCG to sell its entire shares. Generally, the situation is uncertain at this time because it is not really clear if the even GBTC sales will have a direct impact on the spot market. This depends on who the Bitcoin and Ethereum Trust shares are sold to and under what terms, whether DCG allows redemptions to provide liquidity at par. A warning of a Bitcoin and Ethereum price crash would therefore be premature. It's also worth noting that DCG has initiated smaller block sales of shares in its Litecoin Trust, Bitcoin Cash Trust, Ethereum Classic Trust and Digital Large Cap Fund, according to the report. DCG and Genesis reach agreement with creditors yesterday, it became known that Gemini has reached an agreement in principle with Genesis, DCG and other creditors on a plan that will provide earn users with a path to recovering their assets. As part of this initiative, Gemini will also donate up to $100 million to earn users. Under the terms of the agreement, DCG would also swap its $1.1 billion note due 2032 for convertible preferred stock issued by DCG. In addition, DCG would refinance its existing 2023 term loans with a new junior secured term loan in two tranches to be paid to creditors in the aggregate amount of $500 million. One piece of undetermined information is at what value the preferred shares will be transferred to DCG equity.
According to previous knowledge, the new DCG package will ensure that creditors will recover more than 80% of the funds, but this still depends on a convertible preferred equity note, realized liquidation prices, and the unknown costs associated with the bankruptcy procedure. At press time, the Bitcoin price stood at $22,941, holding above the crucial support at $22,635.